Once you have added logo, you can add another logo on the right. If you do not wish to have this anymore, you simply right click on the gray part of it, you right click, say delete, and it removes it completely. You can also adjust the cell size as you see fit. So what we want to do at the bottom here, we want to add the report parameters. So when was the report run? This is what we call dynamic text. Dynamic text is automatically populated with uh, values when the report is run. So at the bottom here you have report parameters and all various other functionalities. For the moment we're just going to stick to the start and the end date. If I double click it, it adds it to the top here. I can then add text which makes it more descriptive and then an end date. So what this means is that this dynamic value here will appear with the words to the end date as dynamic text again. As you can see, there it is. I can then format it as I see fit, change the style, change the size, etc. Another example of dynamic text is for if you would like to know the conservation area that you're working in. That is here under the bird functions, smart functions option. If I double click on this, it will automatically put the username that has been logged in as whoever is running the report. Whereas here is the conservation area name or the conservation area ID. If you don't want something there, you can delete it here or you'll see it highlighted under the body on the left hand side. You can right click it and say delete. Just make sure you know what you are deleting. So if we are now going to add a table, we need to create another grid. Normally about a grid of one of one. But we need data to in order to represent it in a report, we need to add a data query. So if I right click and I say new data set, this is the way in which I'm going to add query where I can add extra information like smart tables. Just to show you, if I say tables and I say next, you will see here I can add the agency and ranks, conservation areas, the employees, etc, etc. Everything pertain, every external data pertaining to conservation areas. But I created specific queries, so I choose the query data set. When I click next, all my potential queries come up here. In this case, it's just structured in folders. And I would normally use, for example, a summary query. Foot patrol summary by month. What it's going to do, it will show you all the information here. Um, and this is the name, is header. If you double click here, you can change it to month. I know that in the query when I was running it, that the foot patrol summary is by month. Now, when you are writing it, changing the name, make sure that alias and the display name are exactly the same, otherwise it will not work. If I say OK, here it is. If I drag and I drop it into this, it will ask me, which columns do you want to represent? So if I select all, it will show you there. 